Hi everyone, so this is going to be a very short video. Um, just recently I uh, bought the Addictive Drums 2 and I was trying to use it on my GarageBand but I couldn't, for some reason I couldn't get it to load into GarageBand. It's easier for uh, for Logic, um, it's straight, really straightforward. But I tried to do that in GarageBand, I couldn't find it. I checked on YouTube to see that um, there's anyone that has done it before that could show, show me but I couldn't find someone at least someone I could understand and then on checked on different forums as well I find out that that yeah some people kind of give description for it but no one really um, it wasn't really clear to be honest really so what I just had to do just kept um, fiddling with it and kind of figured it out myself so to start with the first thing you need to do let me just take all of this out first first thing you need to do is to once you install the uh, the addictive plugin just uh, you, um, install it and restart and ensure everything is set up properly and then come into GarageBand launch GarageBand then first thing you want to do is add the instrument that you want to use um, depending on where you're starting from so but ensure that you're selecting the drummer um, instrument right that is done create that so when you create that this will create, click on that it will launch this page um, I don't need this so I can just delete that so the first thing you want to do is to select this um, what's it called again the smart controls and you click on that this will um, a window will launch so what you need to do is just to come here to the drum kit under your plugins and then um, under this drop down list click on that it will pop this out and then you go go to your AU instrument and under that you would see XLN audio and then let's go to the right and then select stereo that when you click on that it will launch um, addictive to plugin as you can see so you can then manipulate it how you want um, again this video is not just it's not to show you how it's um, how it's used you have a lot of videos that do that so but I just want to show you how you can load it onto your um, your garage band so I was struggling to do that so and then I didn't realize I had that open already. And then, what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Then, that's just it. So let me know if you have any other way, better way to do to do this or an easier way than this. Or let me know what you think about it. Thank you.